uh, indeed my privilege to, to do and accomplish a few roles here today. Um, the first one, let me, let me uh, mention on July 9th at the Santa Barbara Polo Club, we are having the Duke and Duchess come in for the day and play. Tickets uh, for the regular seats are just going at $400. Uh, if you'd like tickets to the tent where the Duke and Duchess, they go at $4,000. I'm taking reservations at the end of the day. Uh, all of you that would like to come up and survive. Uh, nothing, nothing. The bank has nothing to do with this. Uh, um, $390, no problem. $3,900. It's uh, uh, one of my privileges to introduce uh, Kevin Tiber here today made a few notes uh, as I've had the privilege of knowing Kevin over the last 18 years. Um, Kevin is a college uh, graduate with a BA degree in economics from California State University, Fullerton. He resides in uh, Lisa Viejo with his wife Elaine and two daughters, Jessica and Christina. I admire you. Kevin was recommended to me and I hired him uh, for the Farmers and Merchants Trust Company in 1993 as our operations officer and to upgrade the company in the newest software of the trust companies. Kevin immediately started working just half days, as it is with the walkers, half days, 12 hours. <laughs> and by all means, he took control of the company from this very strategic position. Kevin has accomplished let me correct myself. He has a, overachieved in every assignment with f and and in his personal life. And let me reflect on that just a little bit. After 18 years, Kevin is a senior vice president, chief operating officer of Farmers and Merchants Trust Company. And what that includes is responsibility for the management of the trust company and our activities. Responsible for the administration, and is chief of the, uh, excuse me, chair of the administrative committees. He's responsible for our operations and information technology, and he's also a member of the executive committee and the corporate investment committee. When he changes hat, he's also a senior vice president of Farmers and Merchants Bank, ahead of all our shareholder relationships, capital market activities for both the bank and Queen City, and is also a business development officer which includes a variety of functions, such as charitable, education, and relig religious relationships, such as the following. Kevin is currently the finance chair and sits on the board of directors of the Orange County High School of the Arts, from which Kevin is, was responsible in guiding the recent financing and theater purchase, which was extremely important to the school. He is currently on the finance chair of Corpus Christi Catholic Church as a member for the past 12 years, and he was instrumental in starting the capital campaign which has organized and funded the church's grand hall. It is a magnificent building. Kevin is currently the chairman of our own Long Beach Memorial Medical Center Foundation and a member of that board for the last 12 years. But yes, there is a, another side of the coin for Kevin as well. As you can imagine, he was carrying out all of these above-listed assignments back at home. He's accomplished very simple things, such as recognition in 2003, 2007, and 2009 from the city of Aliso Viejo for his input, direction, and influence towards the development and creation of that city. The awards by the city of Aliso Viejo are the City of Elite Silviejo Walk of Fame. Have any of you ever been a softball coach or a baseball coach? Because I want to know if you measure up to Kevin's simple achievements over a nine year period of being manager. He won four consecutive city champions, and he had three invitations to the state championships where he won the first ever state championship berth for Elise Diego. But believe me, the greatest accomplishments of Kevin were summed up by his wife, Elaine, and that is the following. Kevin is an amazing father and 
husband. We, we love him very much in our proudest accomplishments. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Kevin Tyler. 